All right, before you order out tonight, no more styrofoam. If you have leftovers after you visit a restaurant in Anne Arundel County, don't expect to get a styrofoam container. A ban against the product is now in effect. WJZ is live tonight. Avajoy Burnett tells us why this will impact you even if you don't live in the county. Avajoy. Well, Nicole, there's been a push to ban those styrofoam containers because if they get into the waterways, that could be a problem for fish. Companies and businesses that have been against this, they've now had a change of heart. Months before Anne Arundel County's ban on styrofoam kicked in, this Pasadena restaurant started a rush to get on board. But we're using these now instead of styrofoam trays to serve our steamed seafood on. But when county leaders voted to ban the material because old styrofoam containers could eventually get into rivers and the bay and hurt fish, William Pfeiffer knew he had to change. His business depended on it. The benefits from it are, of course, it saves the bay and, I mean, we're a seafood house, so it's important for us to look into the future. According to the Healthy Harbor Initiative, hundreds of tons of trash flow into Maryland waterways every year. And if some of that material never breaks down, fish and other animals will mistake them for food. And if there's too much, they could die. They, the, it could actually block their digestive system. The National Aquarium has seen the dangers firsthand. I have watched a female diamondback terrapin wade through kind of a, a plastic debris and foam um, to get to a place on the shoreline where she can lay her eggs. Anne Arundel County is among a handful of jurisdictions that already have styrofoam limitations, but pretty soon everyone will have to comply. On July 1st, a statewide ban will go into effect. Back here at Anne Arundel Seafood, some loyal customers did not notice the change in the containers. And I, and I think it's a good thing. I mean, anytime that you can take care of the, the, the bay and the landfills and all, we, we have to think ahead. And the restaurant owners over there told me there's one downside to this. The styrofoam containers, they're about 20% cheaper, but of course, they would not go back. Live at 5, Ava Joy Vernet for WJZ.